classifications of aneurysms. Based on the wall, we have four, three layers, tunica adventitia, tunica media, tunica intima. There are three walls in the uh, artery. So, if there is all layers are found in an aneurysm, it is called as true aneurysm. All layers are found, it is called as true aneurysm. If some layers are missing, so missing layers is called as false aneurysm. An aneurysm without tunica adventitia, an aneurysm without a tunica intima, something like that is called as pseudo aneurysm or false aneurysm. It is called as false aneurysm. So, true aneurysm contains all layers present. So, missing layers is called as false aneurysm. Now, based on the shape, we have many types. This is an aneurysm which is symmetrically dilated both sides. Symmetrically dilated is fusiform. Symmetrically dilated aneurysm is fusiform aneurysm. Asymmetrically dilated like this is saccular aneurysm. Asymmetric dilated is saccular aneurysm. It has high chances of rupture. High risk of rupture is present in saccular aneurysm. Don't forget this. High risk of rupture is present in saccular aneurysm. Dissecting aneurysm is an aneurysm happening in the blood vessels. In the blood vessel, within the three layers, tunica, intima, media, adventitia, in the layers, there is a blood flowing like this. In some layer, the blood is flowing like this is called as dissecting aneurysm. This is dissecting aneurysm. So, in the three layers, there is a, there is a false lumen created that is called as dissecting aneurysm. False lumen is created, is called as dissecting aneurysm. So, few, saccular aneurysm is having high risk of rupture in the aneurysms. Compared to fusiform, saccular has more risk of ruptures. So, the most important aneurysm topic is abdominal aortic aneurysm. And the most common site of aortic aneurysm is usually in the infrarenal aorta as shown in the picture. After giving the renal artery, the most common location is in this place. It is a common location, infrarenal location. So, don't forget, most common location is infrarenal. Many of the patients are asymptomatic, but the most common presentation is back pain. Back pain is because of the stretching of the tunica adventitia by the blood vessels. So, they have typical back pain. We are very much worried about this abdominal aortic aneurysm is because of the rupture which can happen in this.